Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Let's talk about a new term called compressibility factor. So the deviation of the ideal behavior from uh, the deviation of the real gas from the ideal behavior can be measured actually because some, for example, uh, I say that nitrogen behaves, uh, deviates more than carbon dioxide at some pressure, at pressure x. So the, the deviation is different for different gas at different, different uh, pressures, right? So how to measure the deviation? Because some real gas may deviate more than uh, some real gas may deviate less if you compare from the base ideal gas. So we have a term called compressibility factor to measure the deviation of a real gas from the ideal behavior. And this is nothing but ratio of PV by NRT. Also, we can find the deviation by volume which is occupied real by volume ideal. So, really they should if they occupy X volume and ideally they should occupy, let's suppose, Y volume, X by Y is the value of change. There are two different ways to uh, find the value of compressivity factor. And also note that this compressivity factor for a given uh, gas also varies based on the pressure. For example, for nitrogen at, at pressure is equal to zero, if you see pressure is equal to zero, low pressure, it is behaving like a real gas, the compressivity factor is one, right? So for ideal gas, we say that the Z value is one. So in this case, if you see here, it is behaving almost like a real gas, correct? Because my Z is equal to one, but for nitrogen, if you see now, with increase in pressure, with increase in pressure, the value of Z increases. Similar for hydrogen also, if you see with increase in pressure, this value increases. For oxygen, it goes down, the value of Z goes down and then increases with increase in pressure. For methane, the value of Z goes down and becomes negative and then it becomes zero once again and increases. Here also, if you see, for carbon dioxide in the green, it goes down and then increases. So the value of Z also changes. Not that the value of Z is constant for oxygen or nitrogen or hydrogen. This value also change the compressibility factor or the deviation of the ideal gas also changes for a given gas based on the pressure. Correct? So see the new formula which I have given the compressibility factor is nothing but volume real by volume ideal. So there are two values of compressibility factor as explained. It can have a positive value from here to here or it can have negative value also. So what does it mean? So for ideal gas, I told the value of Z is 1. When Z is less than 1, it is called negative value. It is not negative, but it is less than 1. So we call it a negative value because here 1 is considered as a reference. So for it is less than 1, that means it is more compressible than expected. Right? That means the gas is more compressible than expected. And you see, uh, gas like uh, oxygen, methane and carbon dioxide, uh, behaves in this uh, fashion for certain pressure value. For example, oxygen below 400 uh, pressure uh, per bar, this behaves like a Z, I mean this behaves like a real gas where Z is less than 1. And if it's Z is greater than 1, that means it says that, the, it, you mean to say that the gas is less compressible than expected. So. That's what is well. If we, the value of Z is greater than one, that means the gas is less compressible. In most of the case, it is like that only. If Z is less than one, very few case, that two is only for certain range of pressure. If Z is less than one, that means it is more compressible than expected. Right? And as I told, the value of Z also depends on the pressure and temperature. If you see, if you vary pressure, the value of Z changes for a given gas. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.